Howdy folks, it's a tall turtle here, and that is my backside. Here's my front side. Welcome back to Eternity SMP, the best place on the planet to play Minecraft 1.20. And um, we're going to do a few things in the video. I was going to tell you everything we're going to do, but instead of telling you everything we're going to do, we're just going to do it. We're just going to do everything, and you get to figure out what it is we're doing. So first of all, I want to put some banners on my sub bases, because this is our town banner, right? See right there? Kotaberg means ordinary. <laughs> so there you go, ordinary. So I'm going to put our town banners on my satellite bases or sub bases just so that um, people, who's raining? People know um, they're mine. And I was going to do something before and I forgot. Doesn't matter, I guess. Alrighty, so let's hop in the nether and we're going to. Um, run to each base and put up a thing. I got my helmet on, right? Yep. And then after... We don't need any potions for this. Then after... Yes, I know, but gel air loves my shaders. Um, after we put the things at our bases, we're going to do something else today. And I'll show you the nether that I completed. And I added Trail Rune and Lush Cave signs. So, what we're going to do is a time lapse because it's going to take a while. I'm going to run to my sand base, my badlands base, and then come back and go to my copper base, my copper mine base, and then we'll go to um, the ruins, and I'll show you the completion I did of the nether stuff. So anyway, without further ado, turtle music, here we go.
And here we are, my latest addition to the local Nether Highway system, to the Lush Cave and Trow Ruins. I had to zoom through all the stuff that I finished. Oh, looks like it tilts up. Interesting, my shaders make it all sway a little bit. But um, here we go. This is where we left off at the last video, so let's hop inside. And we come out in my new little portal area, um, blocked off in the back. So we're going to talk about all this. And then we will do a few little projects today. Not many, but just a few. So here's my portal area. It's kind of a lush cave that I brought into my nether portal room. So if guests take the nether portal highway system, they come out in here and they're greeted here where it says lush cave to the right, trow ruin to the left. And we'll talk about everything in a minute here. So let's first of all talk about the lush cave because that's easier to discuss. <laughs> And so, there's my neat little portal room. And then you come down here, watch your step, because you can walk right off. So there's like a lush cave display, like we're in a museum, and there's like a mini version of what you're doing. Um, and then some lush cave stuff here on the side. And then you come down here, and I built all this up. And then here is the lush cave that we started way over there and i think i have this spider proofed i'm not sure to be honest but anyway this will be a separate project another day um i'll be returning to this in the future i have no timeline but um we will be we'll be making this safe and we'll do something out of it i don't know what but um anyway so this is the lush cave that i found that I've claimed in air quotes. And um, um, this is where it'll open up. So we can buy tickets and come down here and then we'll open this up a little bit more too once it's safer. But there's a Lush Cave, again, separate project for like way in the future, but it's ready to go. So then the other thing you can do then is you can go to the Trow Ruin. So here it is obviously, but if you come this way, cause you're forced to go this way, kind of get some scenery a little bit cut out cave but with some lanterns instead of torches and then you buy your tickets here um ruin entrance tickets here extremely basic because that's all you need that's all you need is just a ticket and a brush if you want to buy a brush you can go into the ruin now the ruins itself will be another build another day haven't decided yet if i'm going to keep them like this or if i'm going to um Restore them. I want to do a lot more research before I try to restore them. So these are just going to stay like this. Tons of torches because, you know, when they were dug out, they used torches, right? Archaeologists. So do I hear a zombie? I know there's a cave below us because they ran into it right there when they built the ticket booth. But anyway, so ruins. This will be another project too. So the lush cave will come back far in the future. The trail ruins will be another project, even though it's in the same spot. Um... But I want to finish our current project, which is the the touristy parts, which is going to be very basic, but that's what we're going to finish today. So there you go. There's our portal. I should, should I take a picture there. No, we don't need a selfie there. I'm using making use of the hanging signs to my own textures, my own GUI. So if you click on them, um, it's my own GUI too. Whoops. I keep doing that. Because you can edit signs now. So anyway, so yeah. So I know there's a lot going on with the cave and the ruins and everything, but all we're worried about finishing is the touristy stuff. And then the cave and the ruins itself will be a completely different project, completely different day. More sign, more hanging signs. Elevator to docks. Here you go. And again, keeping this rustic and original cave stuff. And you can tell it's done though, because we have lanterns hanging up. And then you're forced to go up to the docks. And then what do I mean by docks? Well, I think we're gonna sleep first, actually. It'll be time to sleep in a minute. Yep, let's sleep. And we're not alone tonight. All Dwendin is on with us tonight. Cause I went to sleep and it said sleeping through this night. I'm like, what? <laughs> before I got to it. And it's cause old Dwendin got to the bed before I did. So anyway, um, up to the docks. Again, rustic elevator naturally built into the cave system, except for some details like supporting bricks for the glass and you all know how this works you come out here and this is what we're going to finish today together is this area here um 
We should be safe from all the creepy crawlies. And um, we're going to finish this area. The docks simply means another way you can arrive. So we're going to finish this area, get rid of all the torches, make them lanterns. And that'll be our build here until I come back to the ruins someday and the cave someday. Um, but what do I want to do first? I have to think about this. Oh yeah, I was going to make these stairs. Okay, now I remember what I was going to do. Okay, um, and I was also going to get rid of all these torches and making lanterns, but I don't want to. I want to keep those torches until, oh my gosh, my shadow scared me. I'm literally afraid of my own shadow. Oh my gosh, my heart just skipped a couple beats here. Who have to recover. All right, um, originally I was going to get rid of the torches and make them lanterns, but I wanted to stay torches like an archaeological archaeologic dig <laughs> until I actually do something with it. So they're going to stay um, torches for now. So anyway, so first thing I want to do, oh yeah, we also need to put down our banner somewhere. This will get moved, but I'll totally forget to move it. But anyway, all right, so first thing we're going to do is dig up these slabs and lose half of them to the water, probably. Maybe not. And then we're going to, whoops, yeah, move, lost a couple, lost a couple more. And because they screwed up filling in my water, they're just going to go down there. I don't care. All right, so we're going to put in stairs, and we can only put in as many stairs as I have stairs. So, um, how's this going to work? Actually, if I go like, can I go just go like that? No, that's upside down. Um, let me try it like, there we go, like that. Okay, cool. All right, we have room for one more stair, so there we go. We're going to go up that deep. And then lower slabs, of course, so that stuff doesn't um, spawn here. And then mixed materials, you know how I'm about mixed materials. I only have one of those. What? Oh, no, there we go. I was going to say, I must have more than that. One, two, space, one, two, space. Cool. And then we're going to put lanterns on top of those. We're going to do most of this build together just because um, we haven't done much building together. It's been a lot of update this and update that. And the next project, the next few projects I have planned will probably just be update videos because they're, so, they're kind of intricate projects. And I'll be like, so now we're doing this, so now we're doing that. And move this block, and move that block. It'll just be like this long, crazy, drawn out thing if I made a video. So expect the next few videos to be um, updates of big projects. Anyway, do I like that? Do I like that? Let's get rid of you. We don't need you. Um, yeah, I like that. It looks welcoming. So where can we put this banner? So you come up here, do to do to do to do da 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 Like, okay, we know we've arrived. And how do we know we've arrived? Because there are boats in the water. Right? Yes. These won't swim away from us, will they? Come on. There we go. And my raft. I love the raft. There we go. That's how you know. Um, actually, that looks kind of good there. No, it doesn't. It needs to be over here. It needs to be here. Where do you hit this thing? I guess that works. Not the fastest way. In fact, we can put it right there. There we go. All right, so when you arrive, you know you're in the right spot because you see the Kulterberg banner. Do, 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 do. Okay, cool. So that's the dock. It is going to be that simple. That's as elaborate and crazy as it gets. So the next thing I wanted to do was go around the edge and um, light it up with... I'm going to walk around them. Yeah, I can. Light it up with these. I always say I don't need them on the edges. Oh, don't do that to me. There we go. But I want them there. Just because they look cool. And again, we don't really need them on these edges. But they're going to be... Ta-da! Um, okay, we can put one up there, I guess. And then put one up here. I keep thinking something's going to get me from the woods, even though it's daytime and nothing will spawn in these woods. It's not dark enough, I don't think. Oh, yeah, we got that rogue one to take care of, too. I'm just going to go along the fence first. And then we're going to go within the, um, the area itself that I have blocked off. Just make sure everything is lit up enough. And then we will build our touristy things. Um, you'll see here in a second. So let me just finish this. Whoop, 
can't even go that way. Can't go that way either. Oh my, oh my gosh, can't go any of these ways. That's kind of funny. Oh, let's see, put one there. And put one... Yeah, just two off and put one there. Great, okay. So now we have to get rid of all the torches. So we don't get a false light reading here. Sure there aren't any more there? Alrighty. And then, obviously, light level zero is all we need. So, should be pretty straightforward. I'm hoping to do this video stream style. Very few cuts. Um, if any cuts at all. Um, yeah, get rid of all this. Get rid of all this. Okay, so now, if we move away, let's see. That light is coming from somewhere. Where's that light coming from? Is it that one? No, because it goes back up again. No oh, light source down there. So we will need a light source there. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. We'll need a light source. I'm supposed to have these out. Um, we'll need a light source where? Okay, that's getting lower. As it should. Okay, we don't need one in here. But I'm going to put one in here anyway. Um, hmm. Put it there, I guess. Right, 11, 10, 9, 8, yep. I know there's a mod you can get that lights up the squares for you. And then you just tell it. Oh my gosh, we like don't need any light because these are... Six, five. Okay, we'll need one in here. Well, yeah, we'll put one in here. Um, well, actually we won't because we'll have a light down below. That's okay. We'll, we can have one extra light, that's fine. 97, 6. When, so what happens, what I, the way I do is when it gets lower, I keep going in the lower direction. Until I, okay, see so it gets higher. So that none of that matters. Um, I end up getting higher. That'll get higher. This will all get higher because we're going that way. Ooh, that was 7. 7, 8. 7, 8, 9 because of up there. So we're actually good. We actually don't need any more light in here. So now I'm just going to put lights in for aesthetics. Because we don't actually need any more light. So... Um, yeah, I do want to put one in here again, just for aesthetics. There we go. Okay. So this is all safe. I'm not going to put anything in here. It's just if people want to wander in the woods, they can. That's all that is. Um, but it is safe. So you can wander around if you want to. Alrighty. So now we're going to do our actual build build. Um, and by that, I mean, finish this little area. Very, very stinking easy. <laughs> Probably the easiest thing I've ever done. So hopefully um, I didn't hype anything up whatsoever because there's nothing to hype up. So what I'm going to do, first of all, is all this is going away. Um, and it's going to go that way instead. Um, just because it's too dangerous to have... Um, oops, it's too dangerous to walk run up this and we'll run right off the side right and that's scary so this is going to be changed out somehow i'm just trying to figure out how i want to do it i think i'm just going to take it all out and then um put in stairs around the tree really yeah and then i brought enough to go like that bam there we go and now we need many stairs i can get in there there we go, plenty of stairs, and basic way out. Whoops, not like that. Maybe like that. There. Now, we haven't had a build video of this style in a long time, have we? Ta-da! Um, actually, this is going to change. I don't know why I did that. Alrighty. Um, let's see. Did I bring what I wanted to bring? I'm not entirely sure I did, because I need a path out. So, we'll come back for the path. Let's build a path like this. It's not going to be... It is not going to be a... Um, um, da 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 A path path. I'm just doing this to remind myself to make a path. Um, yeah. There, this is just to remind myself. Make a path, turtle. There you go. Okay, cool. That's a big old path, but it kind of needs to be. 
Alrighty, um, that could be path two. Okay, so this will be, I don't want to rally here because I don't want to block the view, but I got to do something so people don't walk right off the edge. Haven't figured it out yet. That'll be soon. Okay, so first of all, we have to secure this area because um, we don't want this dirt to fall on our heads, right? So this has to be secure. Like so, then I was thinking in here, I could put in, you know, something, whoops, something like this. There you go. Then we would simply hang a lantern off the roof. And then we're all lit up, obviously, for like a million block, right? Yeah, see, we're good. Okay. So then, that looks nasty. Let's not do that. Let's keep it like this. And then put one up there. There we go. Actually, we could put it in the corner. That would look a little more interesting, I think. And it's still plenty fine. Yeah. Yes, yes. Okay, so there we go. So here, this is all going to get changed out. Either to this stuff. Or this stuff. Um, obviously, around the elevator it needs to be this stuff because you need to show that the elevator has some integrity to it. <laughs> and that is not just going to break down. In fact, you know what? This is all going to be like this, including back here. Well, that might be able to be st no, cobblestone. What do you think? That looks kind of weird. But you know what? I think we can handle Let's go two down here um, like that. Don't think it'll screw the elevator up. Pretty sure it won't. Okay, so there we go. Okay, then we should probably go down here too then. Whoops. That'll be okay. Yeah, it's still a block down there, right? I think we're good. Okay, there we go. Still water? Yeah, of course. And still works? Yeah, of course. Okay. That was cool. Okay, now down here though... Um, I like how that looks like moss, but it's, it should be the same color as that. That's kind of a bummer. Well, it'll be okay. All right, if I break through, is this the other side? It is not. Oh. Um. Hmm. I think we'll just go like that, and let's add some dirt in here. Some regular old dirt here. Like that. And then this will figure out something. Um, something here. Maybe do this. One of these numbers, right? Where you kind of go like that. And then finish it off with that maybe. Right? Like it was built up, but it's kind of deteriorating. Oh, that looks really cool. Oh, that looks fantastic. And the tree in the way. I love that the tree's in the way. I've been thinking about that for so long. <laughs> <laughs> All the trees in the way. Alrighty, so now what? Um, okay, now we have regular cobblestone. We can mix it with mossy cobblestone for the ground. So, this is going to get busy on the eye, so i got to be kind of careful how I do this here. Um, we want the moss for sure because it's, you know, moldy kind of. And then maybe where people walk... It'll be a little bit cleaner with some mold. Actually, mold in the corner because people wouldn't walk in the corner. Right? Anybody who has kids in their house probably know when things get dirty, it gets, you know, the dirt gets moved to the side. <laughs> so there you go. I think that's a good mix of mossy stuff and not mossy stuff. And it looks scary, but you know what? Everybody knows what's down there, right? And everybody knows down there? Maybe people have no idea what's down there. Maybe I need a sign. I mean, you come in by boat, right? You know you're, you know you're in the right spot. You got boats and you got the Kotzebrook sign. But how do you know? Maybe I should put elevator to ruins straight ahead. And then viewing area left. And then nothing to the right. There we go. We'll check our spelling. 
Up arrow, straight ahead, elevator, elevator to Ruin slash Lush Cave, left overlook. I feel like these signs should be on top of each other. Elevator, right? Elevator to Ruins and Lush Cave, and then here you can edit these now. Then I'm just going to go like this, I think. How does this work? Yeah, just editing, no big deal. And there we go. Overlook, which is left, nothing to the right. Ta-da, I could glow them, but I'm glowing every single sign, which is like too much of a good thing, right? And of course that lush cave goes under here, and it goes all the way to that tree that we started in the other episode. See my torch there? And this is all lush cave under the water. So that's kind of cool. Oh, that's what I could do. I can turn the ceiling into glass, and we'll have water above it. Interesting idea. Alrighty, there we go. You can tell this is obviously an intentional build, right? No mistaking that. Kotoburg owns it, and then it tells you here what's going on. So, elevators. Um, I think the elevator is done. It's supposed to be that easy. And then because there's a sign there, we know here's where you go. You can tell it's down and up. Very primitive and basic. But that's all it needs to be. That's it. And then here now we have to do... Well, first of all, we have to get rid of our rogue... Um, our rogue torch over there. Let's see. Oh, maybe I don't have to. Maybe I just go from here and hit it. Hey, look at that. Cool. Now can I get back, though? That's the thing. Oh, of course I can. No, I can't. No. Shoot. Dang it. Well, I guess we have an elevator. So no reason to sweat it. Just hop upstairs here in the elevator. There we go. Okay, cool. Alrighty. Um, I almost feel like I should have a light hanging off the lantern hanging off the edge just because I can like just hanging off just because like some building code said you had to like just hang a lantern off of here just like that there we go I don't know building code said we had to how does that screw up if I have nothing here now okay so the lowest is four four and higher this way yeah Okay, we can keep it that way. All right, cool. Um, no, I have a better idea. What if we hang it off of this? There we go. That's a much better idea. I like that. Now what do we have for lights over here? Six, and we're good, obviously. Perfect. Okay. Fantastic. Fantastico. Yep, nothing to worry about. Okay. So all we have left now in this very, very, very simple build, well, first of all, is a selfie, which I'm just going to go like this because I don't want to ruin the build. There we go. Um, is we need to figure out what we're going to do here so people don't fall off and die. Um, I mean, we could just do a simple watch your step sign, right? Like just a sign here that says... Gosh, I really want to keep the furnace, but they're in the way. Um, just a sign here that says, Overlook, watch your step. Do I have another sign? I do, just like magic. We're going to go like this and say, Overlook, watch your step. Right? Overlook, O-V-E-R, Overlook, watch your step. And then we're just going to light it up. Bam. So they come out here like, oh, what's this? Overlook, watch your step. Okay, I will. Alrighty, so that's cool. So now I just need to um, make it look like people, you know, walk all over it, make a mess. And then people get scared so they come back here in the corner. Just like that. There we go. Perfect. Awesome. Alright, um, now I just need to do something about my pathway here. I feel like it's a waste not to use slabs. But you know what? You don't always have to use slabs for everything. You can use full block sometimes. So let's not dig up all of this. Um, let's just dig up most of it. And then see how I'm going to do this here. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this. We want a lot of moss. But not all moss. Um, well, there we go. See, we better have more. Ta-da! Actually, maybe I do want these to be all like this. Since I have more than enough. Let's just do this. 
and then um, let's see there we go ta da 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 whoops there we go and then I think I'll keep that like that though I think I will keep that path just like that perfect there we go I think that's it um Ooh, I should really fix that tree. And ta-da, there we go. Perfect. All right, so this little easy, simple build is done. So since it was that easy, let's just go over it again super fast for fun. So you come in on the docks. Dooty doo ti doo -do -do. And you see this cult of bird. You can read the signs. You can run around there if you want to. You can look over, look the ruins. And then you can come down here with the tree in your way. Or you can come in through the nether. And then there's ruins, which again will be a separate project in the future. Far near, I don't know, in the future. I'm going to do some other stuff first before I come back to the ruins. And then the lush cave is down here. Again, far future project. Well, I'll never say far, you never know. But I have other stuff I want to do first. Oh, hi. And then we got our nether connection. So this area this project is done because the ruins in the cave are a different project two different projects so what's next well i really want to get back to my city i have a few fun things i want to build in my city and then well one two three four builds for sure and then i have to use some filler for a few other things so four five six builds left in the city three of which i already know what i'm going to do four i would already know what i'm going to do and um, two of them are enormous. So I want to get back to that. It's been a long time since I've been at my city. And then after that, I don't know. Because I'll be recovering from heart surgery until Christmas. So who knows? So if you want to know what's going to happen next, well, you got to subscribe. Because I don't even know what's going to happen next. Hit that like button so people know we exist. And I'll see you next time.